Hi, community activist Calvin. I guess everybody knows by now that um, I'm always bringing up Bill Cosby because Bill Cosby and Donald Trump are the same. I think it's ironic that the networks, they shut down Bill Cosby's uh, syndicated shows from running, from airing. They stopped the man from making billions of dollars. But yet, you know, the media has not called on to shut down Donald Trump's enterprise. So I think we have a double standard here. Not even do, you know, just think about this. Donald Trump is running for president and women came out and made accusations toward, towards him. Bill Cosby is going to court to fight to stay out of prison. It's a double standard. Now, I don't understand how uh, 35 million people um, can go out and say, okay, we don't care if Donald Trump um, runs somebody over or murders somebody. We don't care if he sexually assaulted anybody. We're still going to vote for him for president. But I remember, I distinctly remember, when the story broke out about uh, Bill Cosby, all those same people were coming on social media saying, oh, he's guilty, he's guilty, you know, uh, they need to shut down his network, he needs, to go to, he needs to go to prison, that he did this to these women. I don't hear people coming on the networks now, it's all quiet. It's all quiet, um, and then I'm going to just say this, very quiet in the white community. Okay, they're not coming out and saying, you know, uh, hmm, you know, this is the same story that we heard about Bill Cosby. So, if you're going to go out and vote, and you go into that booth to vote for your candidate, what are you going to think about? Are you going to think about your daughters? You know, that somebody in power can, you know, your daughters might go apply for a job and somebody in power may rope your daughter and tell her, you know, shut up, you know, because, you know, this is how you get your promotion? Or are you going to go in that booth and say, you know what, I got to go in and, you know, and at least have some sort of, you know, uh, legislation passed that's going to protect, you know, women. Legislation passed that's going to protect minorities because I think um, Bill Cosby is getting a short end of the stick. They're trying to take everything away from him. And right now, the networks are talking about how Donald Trump can make billions of dollars after he loses the election. Donald Trump can open up his own TV station and those same 35 million people can watch his station, can subscribe, can, can subscribe to his station, and Donald Trump can make billions of dollars. So do you see the hypocrisy of this? Do you see what's going on? Okay, you know, uh, back in the day, and you know, Black people had Black Wall Street. Black Wall Street, we were making millions of dollars. It got burned down because a particular group of people felt that, you know, Black people should not be making that kind of money. Okay, so now let's fast forward up to now. It's the same thing. Okay, they're saying Bill Cosby can't run his syndicated shows on the networks because he so-called was punished because these women came out and made these allegations towards Bill Cosby. Okay, so what type of punishment is Donald Trump getting? He's getting publicity because these women came out. Now Donald Trump supporters are attacking the women because they came out and make the accusation. So, America, check your conscience. Check what you're doing out there as far as saying that we have a fair democracy and that there's no racism. We came a long way. Hell no, we didn't come a long way. There is still deep-rooted hatred towards people of color, towards people of gender. This deep-rooted hatred. Until people realize that and try to make changes, you know what? This country is headed into a collision. So when you go to vote, please vote educationally and vote wisely like your life depended on it. You know why? Because your daughter can be walking through that door to go get a job, and she might get proposition. Somebody might say, if you want this job, you have to do a favor for me. All right? 
So think about it when you go in there and say, oh, I'm voting for Donald Trump because he successfully, he, he ran businesses. Donald Trump made his money on bankruptcy. Okay, he made his money. So when he lost money, Donald Trump knew how to make money from the loss. Why don't people understand that? Talk to your brokers and find out how he did it. Okay, when he took that loss, Donald Trump wrote that loss out and got more money back. But a small person going to work that doesn't deal with that type of volume of money don't understand. They don't understand, you know, the loopholes of how to make money. I understand that because I know how to make money. But the average voter, they don't. Vote with your conscience. Vote educationally. Vote that's going to help your daughters. Vote that's going to help your neighbor. Vote. Do not go out there and vote for, uh, I'm sorry I have to say it, don't go out there and vote for Donald Trump. But Donald Trump is for Donald Trump. Donald Trump is about making money. He's going to make money whether he loses the election. He's going to make billions of dollars. It's a joke. This election is a joke. If we want to save our democracy, we have to go and vote like educated American voters. And we can't let Ricky Leaks and the Russians undermine our democracy. Vote all the way down the ticket. Vote all the way down the city council to dog catcher, to whoever. Okay? But if they don't have an educated ideology that's going to help you, your bottom line pocket, and the way that you live in your community, then you need to get educated about who you're voting for. Community activist Calvin Anderson, I just wanted to share those views with you. Have a great day. Mwah.